Item number SCP-2124, Object Class Safe, Pending Review Following Test-2124-9. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-2124 should be kept in a secure storage locker sized at least 50 cm by 50 cm by 10 cm. This locker should be kept sterile, free of moisture, and airtight whenever practicable in order to prevent SCP-2124 from deteriorating. A form insert molded to fit a 20 cm length beep brand kitchen knife has been added to the inside of SCP-2124 following test 2124-4. And while removable should be kept in place during approved tests pending approval from a senior researcher or other staff member of level 3 clearance or higher. Any instances of SCP-2124-1 must be returned to the box, ideally to the molded insert during standard storage. Testing of SCP-2124 is permitted by staff of level 2 clearance and above after filing of Form F-2124-1. Update. Following test 2124-9. Testing of SCP-2124 is forbidden unless directly supervised by a staff member of Level 4 clearance or above. Description SCP-2124 is a large-sized pizza box made out of double-layered brown cardboard. SCP-2124 contains grease residue and upon initial discovery showed early signs of beep mode growth. Removed upon standard sterilization procedure but is otherwise in good condition for its age. Written in black ink, presumably by a black felt-tip pin upon the top of the box is the message, Careful! Invisible knife in box! All components of SCP-2124, including the ink on the warning, appear to be made of standard materials with no anomalous properties. SCP-2124 is as vulnerable to damage as any cardboard pizza box, and care should be taken during testing to avoid any deterioration. A human being attempting to consciously pick up the knife or find the knife is successful in finding such an object. Note, after test 2124-2, it is recommended that subjects testing SCP-2124 are instructed to pick up the handle of the knife. Designated an instance of SCP-2124-1. Subjects describing SCP-2124-1 frequently describe it using the following terms. It feels almost like empty air. It feels like I could crush it. It might slip out of my hand if I close it too hard. SCP-2124-1 has no detectable weight or measurable presence other than that Often uncertain word of the subject holding the instance that they are holding the object. However, when instructed to cut objects using an instance of SCP-2124-1, the object is cut in a manner consistent with a sharp kitchen knife. SCP-2124-1 is able to cut through soft objects with no appreciable effort, through meat and firm objects with simple effort, through bone with moderate effort, and through steel with considerable effort. Exact dimensions and properties of instances of SCP-2124-1 appears to vary with test subjects and testing conditions. See a bridge test log below for additional information. The interior of SCP-2124 appears to be empty to standard inspection without any evidence of an instance of SCP-2124-1. All non-human interactions, sweeping with tongs, brushes, metal detectors, with the interior produces results consistent with an empty box. The lively feeling around the interior of SCP-2124 also produces the same result. A bridge test log. Test. 21243 9th of February 2012 Subjects Researcher Clement under outside observation from Senior Researcher Knight and Associated Researchers Event After test 
2124 and 2424 to establish the general properties of SCP-2124. Researcher Clement tested the ability of SCP-2124-1 to cut various objects, especially those that are not normally easily damaged by a standard kitchen knife. All tests were performed in the standard foundation testing room. Object successfully cut. Falling silk handkerchief. Small piece of SCP-2124. T-bone stick from standard Black Angus cow. Stainless steel screw. Objects unsuccessfully cut. Two carat diamond. Foundation containment grade reinforced steel. Material from SCP beep. Testing room security door. Minor scratches sustained. Researcher Clement's work obligations, as tested by Clement, by swinging at the ear around her, saying it was worth a try. Test 21246, 19th of February, 2012. Subjects D Class Personnel D903, D108, D299. As supervised by Senior Researcher Knight and Associated Researchers. Events D903 and D108 were instructed to enter the testing area. D903 was instructed to pick up the knife and demonstrate its effects on a provided plate of butter by plunging SCP-2124-1 as deep into the butter as possible. This was accomplished without incident to a depth of 20 centimeters. D-108 was instructed to take a new knife from SCP-2124. D-108 attempted to retrieve an instance of SCP-2124-1, but failed and declared SCP-2124 to be empty. D-903 was instructed to hand the knife to D-108 handle first. D-903 expressed difficulty in properly grasping the knife by the safe bit of the blade, but managed to do so without issue. D-108 proceeded to confirm that they were holding a knife, and demonstrated on the provided butter to a depth of 22.5 centimeters. At this point, D-299 was instructed to enter the testing area, and subjects D-903 and D-108 were instructed to stand back and say nothing. D-299 was instructed to pick up a knife from the box and insert it into the butter as deep as it would go. D-299 was successful in inserting the first instance of SCP-2124-1 to a depth of 20 centimeters. D-108 insisted that he still had the knife and demonstrated this fact by successfully slashing at the butter. All three D-class expressed confusion, and D-903 insisted that he held no knife and waved his open hand at the butter to demonstrate. D-108 and D-299 were instructed to place both the knives inside SCP-2124, which was successfully performed. All D-class personnel were then instructed to take a knife from SCP-2124. Only D-903, who attempted to take an instance of SCP-2124-1 first, was successful. D-299 and D-108 both insisted that SCP-2124 was empty and contained no knife. D-903 complied with instructions to place the knife back into SCP-2124, and testing was concluded. Test 2124 21st of April, 2013 Subjects D-Class Personnel D-788, D-600, and D-962 are supervised by Senior Researcher Knight. Events D-Class was told that effects of SCP-2124-1 would be tested against itself as well as standard materials. D-Class were instructed to data expunged. Following extensive testing and security intervention following the unruly behavior from D-600, all instances of SCP-2124-1 were placed back in SCP-2124, and testing was concluded. Addendum 21 hours following the test, 
D-788 succeeded in escaping her cell and severely injuring one member of security personnel before being tranquilized. D-788 claimed that you only need to see the box once if you know how. D-788 proved under interrogation that they were capable of producing an instance of SCP-21241. This instance varied significantly from measurements of the molded insert placed in SCP-2124. When interrogated, D-600 and D-962 were incapable of producing SCP-2124-1 without taking it from SCP-2124.